guys? It's me, your badass host, Driven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we had a pretty long one. We actually went to the Safari Zone, and, uh, well, we checked it out twice, made sure to capture some pretty cool Pokemon, but I, the most important part is that I showed you guys the two versions of when you get the Acro Bike and the Mock Bike and all that stuff. Now, in this episode, we're going to be going straight into Mount Pyre. We're going to be doing some stuff right there. Now, off screen, I did a little something right here. I kind of realized that, you know, going into the final parts of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, I might as well diversify in the Pokemon team. So, what I did off screen was I captured myself another Toxie Batman. And yes, before you guys start going nuts on me, it's a female. Shouldn't it be Toxie Batwoman or something like that? No. I'm going to keep it Toxic Batman because, well, if you guys remember in Pokemon, my very, very first Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, like from a long time ago, it was a female. Now, the cool thing about this is that we caught a special one. It had Giga Drain, Giga Drain, I should say. Uh, we caught it with a, what was it called? A luxury ball. So its happiness will go up and plus we gave it a Soothe Bell. So the evolution will be a little bit quicker than usual now. We are forgetting a Pokemon on our team, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go get them, and then we're going to go straight into Mount Power, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Route 121, and we got ourselves our good old Pokemon back, and if you talk to her, she's going to be like, Ahead looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural monument to the spirits of the departed Pokemon. That is true. Now, this is, uh, well, obviously, it's Nurse Joy. She will be able to heal you up, heal you up whenever you want. And what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be going straight into Route 122 into Mount Pyre. And what we're going to do first is we're going to, well, we're going to try and get a repel right here because we are sick and tired of getting attacked by Pokemon right here. Now, I just realized this uh, just, just by doing this in the, in the last few days. Yes, yes, I know I'm switching up Pokemon left and right, but I'm trying to find the right combination of Pokemon and on top of it all, guys, it's not like we're not going to see these Pokemon ever again. It's not that hard to train Pokemon here in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I'm just trying to make the best team possible. And I, I came to the conclusion that it's like, you know what? I'm going to start using some Pokemon that have some pretty cool evolutions, pretty good stats and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead and just diversify the crud out of it. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So here we are in Mount Pyre. This is just like Lavender Town. And uh, you will be finding some Pokemon trainers who want to battle you. So just be aware of all that. And, well, here we go. Taking on a Pokemon maniac. His name is Mark. He thinks he's cool, but really, he is not. So what's going to happen is Tommy JDF is about to kick some butt. Now, before the next gym battle, we got a lot of catching up to do. And I mean a lot of catching up with uh, getting these Pokemon all, all strong and everything. So here we go. Double kick for the win. And, well, there we go. Getting some more points. Talks to Batman growing to level 13. And it is learning wing attack. Let's go right ahead and take away Astonish. Yes, we will be using these Pokemon sooner rather than later. Once, you know, it all happens and all that crud. So, there it is. Claymore growing to level 17. Bam. Okay. So, let's see what we're at. Let's see where we're at right here. Ah, we got another uh, Hex later right here. Uh, you know what? It would be a good idea to just put uh, Toxic Batman right here in the beginning because I do want it to. I do want it to evolve twice in a row. So go right here. You're not the one. Ah, ah, crap. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have talked to her, but let's see. No, you're not the one. Ah, okay. Remember her because we might. Yeah, we might have to encounter her later on, so, yeah. And it's natural for people and people to be buried in graves and once they die, but I heard that it's not the usual way in some places in the world. That is true. Some people just get, you know, they get uh, cremated and all that stuff. How would I like to be buried, or how would I like... What would I I'd like my family to do with my body when I pass? Hmm. Bury me in gold. Or just donate me to science. I don't know. Not my brain. <laughs> and what the heck am I doing trying to battle with Toxic Batman? So let's go right ahead and go straight to Thunderball right here. And not get hurt by this Pokemon because, yeah, this Pokemon will destroy Toxic Batman. And here comes a Minimize Attack 
which will increase its evasion. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with the discharge attack. This will actually work. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to Staryu. And, well, Toxic Batman growing to level 17. Or 14, I should say. And here comes a Grumpig, my mortal enemy. Let's go with Leviathan. Oh, yes. And, yes, I know, guys, I have rare candies. I'm not going to be using them right now because we got... We got bigger fish, to, big, bigger fish to fry, I should say. And well, here comes Grumpig, and let's go with a surf attack right here. And this will not do much. Holy crud! All right, Dragon Pulse, let's do it. Look at this. This Pokemon's looking pretty awesome. And there we go. Dragon Pulse doesn't do much. And yes, it's falling asleep. So it's trying to go with a snore attack. So let's go right ahead. I'm going to say we're going we're gonna to have to switch out our Pokemon right here. So, before, well, I kind of pressed that button just on purposely. So, here we go. Dragon Pulse does its thing. Grumpig being a tank as always. Ugh, I hate this Pokemon. With a god dang passion. Let's go with Tommy JDF. Alrighty. Let's see what happens. Tommy JDF, what's up? And I'm assuming it's going to go with the Snore? Yes, it's going to go with a snore. Now, before anybody starts asking, yes, I do snore. So here we go. Brave Bird attack for the win. And there we go. Grumpig defeated. Oh, yeah. It's really difficult when your Pokemon are, like, almost the same levels as your opponents right here. And, well, Toxic Batman grows to level 15. And bam, self-pity. Okay, so now it, it could be a bad idea to have Toxic Batman up front, uh, up front because, well, you know. Now, here we have this guy. He's like, every time I think of the Pokemon I lost, I wish I had lived forever. But I also think it would be, mo uh, be tragic to become immortal without wishing for it. That is true. That is so true. And, well, we're going to be battling some more right here. When I'm here, I'm sort of, sort of power flows in me. Hmm. Some power flows in her. So... Here we go, taking on Hex Maniac Valerie, and she is coming out with a Sableye right here. All right, Toxic Batman. The female Toxic Batman. Let's go right ahead and switch, and hmm. Yeah. Kid Thunder, or no, Ta Thunderball, ready to go. All righty, so let's see. Thunderball, you can do this. Here comes a Confuse Ray, and that right there is uh, not happening. Oh, my God. This is not happening. Okay. So, Discharge. Let's see what happens right here. Let's see what happens. Okay. And, yes, we're going to get hurt just because, you know, life is not fair for us. But here comes a Shadow Claw. And let's see. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Thunderball. There we go. And that right there finishes off Sableye. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, Toxic Batman grows a level again. And Claymore grows to level 18. Alrighty. Okay, so eventually we're going to have to teach these Pokemon some better moves, battle for themselves, and all that stuff. Now, we got two ways to go through, guys. We can go up, up to Mount Pyre, or we can go to the outskirts. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go up into Mount Pyre, and then go... You know, in the outskirts and all that crud. So, yes, we, we do need to battle some Pokemon right now. And, well, let's see. Let's talk to this person. Memories of my dolly skidding. My eyes flood just thinking about it. And I make a habit of coming here after work at least once a day. I'm afraid of forgetting my Pokemon. Which, it kind of sucks. But that is that, that right there is commitment. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle... Atsushi. Atsushi. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and not battle it like this because, holy buckets, that's going to be bad. So, let's go straight to Gaia the Fierce Knight. And, uh, let's see what Gaia the Fierce Knight does. It's about to, it's about, it's so close to getting a le another level right here. So, yeah, we are awake. Here comes a, psych a psychic attack. And, well, look at this. Bam. Say goodbye to Machoke. 
Alrighty, and there you go. Gaia the Fierce Knight grows to level 47. And Toxic Batman grows to level uh, 17, learning Confuse Ray. So let's go ahead and take away Supersonic Attack right here. And look at that. Okay. So Confuse Ray is definitely working. And Leviathan growing levels as always. Thunderball, hello. All right. You know, I was I was getting used to everybody getting some levels right there. It's, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's move on and uh, battle everybody we can see right here and grab items. And let's go ahead and use another repel right here because we don't need any of that mess right now. As you guys can see, you will be able to find some Pokemon. And I've been lucky enough not to uh, get attacked until right now. And, well, let's see. Shup it is at level 29. That's something we don't want to mess with right now. So, let's go right ahead and go with Tommy JDF. Just take a brunt of the hit. Alrighty, alrighty. Anywho, guys. So, a few days ago. Oh, wow. Seriously, curse? Hmm. You know, I could just capture it right now. And that right there is going to take a chunk out of my HP. Holy buckets. Okay, so we're going to run away. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not doing that right now. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on and actually battle her. So yeah, like I was saying, a few days ago, guys, told you guys that I, I came back. Finally came back to uh, actually uh, recording, audio recording and everything. It's been two months, guys. And uh, man, I'm, I'm having fun. Lots of fun right now, just doing it because, well, I missed it so much. Uh, was there anything else that I did that was that was fun? Ah, yes. Your boy went to the beach for the first time in like a decade. Yes, I've been so closed off that, you know, I forgot to do that. Holy crud. And, uh, you know, I had a great time. I had a great time, guys, and I'm, uh, you know, I couldn't be happier. And that's exactly what I needed. It's just a refresher before I came back to start doing all this uh, all this YouTubing again. Because, well, as many of you guys know, this is kind of like a job for me, too. And look at that. My Pokemon are growing levels, and this guy is learning Roar. I am not going to teach it that because it's not really a move that he needs. Okay, so let's see. That's another victory for us. And, uh, well, we're not going to... Yeah, that, that's not going to happen. But we got a double battle right here. So this is going to be extra points for us. And, well, let's go ahead and see what this lovely couple wants. Oh, they just want to battle us and all that crud. So here they come out with Magnetric and Delcaddy. Holy buckets. These are two... <laughs> Holy crud. These are two Pokemon you don't want to mess with. So what's going to happen is... Let's see. You know what? Thunderball is going to be one of them. And... The other one is going to have to be Claymore. Yeah. Okay, so the other one's going to be Claymore. And, oh, crap. I just realized that Discharge actually actually does work against this Pokemon. Oh, man. Okay, so I just messed up right there. Okay, so here comes a Thunderfang. And that is going to... Yeah, that is going to mess up my Pokemon. So let's go with a Discharge attack. And let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Um, yeah, you know what? Gaia the Fierce Knight can take this. Alrighty. Okay. So we're switching it up. And, well, here comes a fake out. Here comes a discharge attack. And everybody gets hit. And Del Caddy has fainted. Mainetric, as always, you know, survives and all that crud. And, well, look at this. Toxic Batman grows to level 19 and is learning Air Cutter. So let's go ahead and switch out to Wing Attack right here. And who's next? Magnetric? I don't know. And here comes the Bite Attack. Going for the wrong Pokemon. All right, let's go ahead and miss this Pokemon up. Let's go with a Light Screen. And let's go with a Dazzling Gleam. Yes, Magnetric is going to take care of this Pokemon right here. So... Let's go right ahead. Dazzling Gleam for the win. And just like that, Magnetric has been defeated. Holy crud. Okay. And Claymore grows to level 20. It's finally growing slowly. And, well, look at this. Toxic Batman level 20 as well. 
and Dez and Luke. Yes, they have been defeated as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and go upstairs because, well, there's there's some stuff that we need to do right up there. And, well, there is a... There's another weird couple right here. We sisters have been brought together by greatness of ghost curse are the strongest. Do you think that you can win a we, uh, against we sisters who have been brought together by the greatest of fairy magic? What the hell? Okay, so complete opposites and they want to battle us. So here we go, mysterious... Okay, yes, that actually makes sense. The mysterious sisters. Holy crud. The world we live in right now. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go with... Uh, yeah, Toxic Batman is not going to survive this one. So let's go straight to the Leviathan. And let's just finish off these Pokemon one by one with one Pokemon right here. So there you go. This Pokemon is going to be happy. And Leviathan is just going to stand there and look pretty and all that crud. So here we go. Blaze Kick for the win. And just like that. Now, I realize this too. It's been a while, guys. I... <laughs> I have not Mega Evolved any of my Pokemon, so yeah, we're still waiting on that. And well, this Pokemon is a uh, you know, increasing everything, so let's go ahead and hit it with a Dragon Pulse while we go with a Double Kick right here. And oh wow, okay, so that right there hurts. So here we go, Double Kick, and just like that, Giraffe Rig has been defeated. Okay. And Leviathan grows to level 37. And it wants to learn Attract. Okay, so this is a move that I'm definitely going to be using. So let's go ahead and switch out Recover. And bam. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, would you look at that? Tommy JDF growing to level 54, which is great. And Toxic Batman grows to level 22. So there we go. And Claymore. Wow, everybody's getting their <laughs> everybody's getting their points in, and well, you guys already know what's gonna happen right here. Digivolution time. Okay, so here it is, guys. Talks of Batman finally evolving after well, maybe one short episode. Not going to lie, I kind of planned for this, but I'm kind of hoping that. Because it has the the Luxury Ball and the Soothe Bell, it will evolve by the next level. You know, it's happen happiness is probably going to be maxed out by that time. So, who knows? We shall see. Okay, so let's move on and get challenged again. I love all things horrifying. It's like a disease. When I'm here, I shiver with fear. Okay, that's, that's scary. That is very, very scary. So, we're taking on Hex Maniac Tasha, and she will be coming out with her, uh, Shuppet. Oh, God, okay. So, there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Toxic Batman, level 22. We are not going to mess with this Pokemon just yet. Let's go instead with Thunderball. Let's see what, let's see what happens right here. Alrighty, Thunderball. Let's go right ahead and, uh... Let's make this Pokemon, you know, our you-know-what. So, that right there looks scary, and we can't use items anymore. Okay, so that's that's fine by me. I hardly use items. <laughs> so, here we go. Discharge attack for the win. And just like that, there goes another Pokemon, and people are just growing levels. So, here comes Zatu. We're going to stay put and take on Zatu with the right Pokemon right here, and... Bam. Okay, so let's go straight for a discharge attack. And there we go. Zatu defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, okay, so there you go. Dislike and everything. <laughs> and, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab some items. Here we found ourselves a lax incense. Which I believe is for, I guess, you know, food or something like that. I think there's a Pokemon that evolves through that. Might be a Snorlax or something. But let's go ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves a Sea Incense. Which can help power up any kind of water type Pokemon. And this guy. Pokemon are precious companions for me on this long trip. Are they? Hmm. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Backpacker Darnell. And this guy... Coming out with his Kleckleon. Kle I said Kleckleon. I said, K wow, I should have said Kecleon. 
And I don't know why I did that. Holy buckets. Oh, we're gonna die. We are gonna... Oh, never mind. Okay, so Kecleon is gonna be at... Uh... Ah, crap baskets. Well, there goes my evolution. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see. Um, yeah. Just when I thought it would evolve, it's not going to. So, let's go with Tommy JDF. And... Well, let's see. Let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and, 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 and uh, wake up our Pokemon, okay? So, it might take maybe one or two more evolutions or something, but here we go. And here comes a Shadow Claw. That's not going to work out. And since it's a technically a Grass-type Pokemon, let's go right ahead and go straight for a Blaze Kick. And just like that, Kecleon has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Toxic Batman grows level 23. Still doesn't mean it's going to evolve, which kind of sucks because, yeah. And Claymore is learning Iron Head, so let's go ahead and teach it. Let's, uh, you know what, let's take away Metal Claw because it's not really that powerful. And there we go. Iron Head for the win. Darnell has been defeated. Okay. And, yeah, because of that, that defeat, yeah, <laughs> Toxic Batman cannot... Well, cannot evolve just yet, so let's go ahead and heal up all our Pokemon because that's the proper thing to do for, you know, us Pokemon trainers right here. So let's see. Going straight for a full restore. Full restore for this guy. That guy. That guy. And that guy. So slowly but surely our Pokemon team is getting a little bit stronger. And, well, let's see. There is an exit right here, which will lead you to the top of the mountain. But what we're going to do first is we're going to go towards the inside part of it. And, well, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. We got to jump it. I kind of want to catch her, but it's like, nah, it's too risky. So let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here. Alrighty, so let's go to the next floor of this area, and as you guys can see right here, this is the top portion of it. Talk to this guy, he's going to be like, A text inscribed on the tombstone honoring a deceased person or a Pokemon is called an epitaph. I've been, comp uh, I've been contemplating what to write on my epitaph. I have so many great achievements that I am uh, at a complete loss. I would just put champion of the world... And, well, this person is going to be like, why is he so peculiar or particular about it? Once you die, everything will be gone. That's kind of messed up. And, of course, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. Okay, so Shuppet's right here. And, well, we need to get the heck out of here because we don't want to get attacked by this Pokemon. And, well, let's talk to this guy. It's not good enough yet. For a final resting place that my Pokemon Meow and, uh, and I will be in, this is not good enough. Huh. And is there anything right here? There's nothing. Okay, so there's two things that you can grab right here, guys. One is this. TM30 Shadow Ball. This is awesome. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what this is. And the words, the words final resting place for Pokemon Meow and me are inscribed on it. Kind of sucks. So, here we found ourselves. This guy, of course, attacking us and all that crud. These god dang shuppets. And it's mainly because of my Pokemon being so underleveled that, you know, we're going to get attacked here and there. So, yeah, we kind of need to get away from that. So, here we are in uh, Mount Pyre, guys. And this is exactly where you'll find another Mega Evolutionary Stone. And right here, you'll be finding yourself a Metachamite. Which can be used for Metacham. And I kind of want to use them at some point. So, I'm going to skip forward to the entrance area of the outskirts area right here, guys. So, I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys. So, here we are. And what's going to happen is we're going to go towards the outskirts of Mount Pyre. Right here, you'll be able to capture some extra Pokemon. I believe one of them is Metacham, which we probably will be doing afterwards. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe right here. And, well, yeah, you'll be able to find yourself Shuppets and all that crud, so. Yeah, let's not get attacked by this Pokemon. Let's just run away. I cannot believe my Pokemon is faster than these guys. I mean, it's it's nature makes its speed a little faster. It's only deterrent is its, its physical attack is not going to be as good, so. 
there's that. And well, look at this. We can go right here. And you will be able to find yourself another TM, which is TM61 Will-O-Wisp. This move right here automatically burns a Pokemon. And with where there's a burn, physical attack goes down. And, well, there is a rare Pokemon. I kind of want to check that out. Let's see. It's a rare, whatchamacallit, a Wingle. And what kind of rarity does it have? It's level 40. In a water sport. Let's go ahead and check it out. Maybe it might be a shiny. It could be. And it's at level 40, by the way. So, here we have a regular Wingle. <laughs> I kind of thought that I would be lucky. Is my Pokemon faster than this guy? No, it is not faster than this guy. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. Yeah, we still can't get out. Come on. And, yeah, we're still trying to get away right here. That Wingle is not letting me through. So, let's get the heck up here. And what we will be finding up here, I think you can find something right here. Or maybe just, I don't know, just the view. We're going to be going, uh, we're going to be using another Repel. And, uh, let's see. Make sure to check these tombstones right here too, guys, because there could be a hidden item here and there. And uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and... Okay, here's a tombstone. Nothing. Okay, so... Let's see. What can we find right here? Nothing. There is a hidden tombstone right there. So let's see if we could actually grab something from there. And yes, we are going to find ourselves an Ultra Ball. And that right there is going to be beneficial for us. And see if this tombstone has anything rare. And yes, we found ourselves a Max Ether. Which is also something very good. Now what we need to do is uh, need to get to that Pokeball. So let's go ahead and just grab that. Let's see. Right here. Found ourselves a Pokeball. And, well, let's see. I think now you can't go there. So let's go right ahead and move on to this portion right here. Again, check the, the, the tombstones, guys, because... There might be a hidden item here and there. Let's see. Let's see. Right here. No zombies. Hopefully there's no zombie Pokemon and all that stuff. And what? Oh, it's uh, <laughs> it's my computer. And we're not going to be needing to repel right here. But once you get to this section, you're going to be finding yourself Team Aqua blocking the way. And what you need to do now is you need to battle these guys. So this guy is going to be like, hey, I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time. Oh, wow. Okay, so here it is, guys. Taking on Team Aqua member Grunt, or Team Aqua Grunt. And, yes, he is going to be coming out with a Grimer. And, well, it's at level 36. Not going to deal with that. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Gaia the Fierce Might. And, well, let's pay. let's just pay it up. Here comes a fling attack, and that doesn't work. Let's go straight for a psychic attack. And just like that, Grimer has been defeated. And let's see. More Pokemon levels. No more Pokemon, no more Pokemon levels. Now, key thing about this, Team Aqua members right here, they will only have one Pokemon, so just be aware of that. And he's like, what's up with you, Brett? What does a single kid expect to do? I expect to take over the world. That's what I expect. So here we go. Taking on a Team Aqua Grunt again. And he's going to be coming out with a Carvana. And, uh, you know, I could battle this Pokemon trainer right now. But I'm not going to risk it. Or I could. But then I won't. Because, well, it's kind of messed up. Again, I know I put myself in a kind of dis uh, in a deficit. I could be using stronger Pokemon, but... Kind of going in towards the very end of this whole thing. So I kind of just wanted to like challenge myself just a tad bit. Especially since, you know, the experience share is on all the friggin' time. So let's go double kick right here. And, uh... Well, double kick is going. And just like that, Carvana has been defeated. And Toxic Batman is growing to level 24. And is learning a new move, which is Swift. And... Uh, for right now, I'm just going to take away Bite. 
Eventually, it's going to be... It's going to get better moves and all that crud. And... Well, let's see. Team Aqua is coming out with a mighty Enna. So... Let's go with Claymore. Let's give it a few experience points here and there. And... Well, hopefully... Hopefully, we'll do something right here. Because this is a mighty Enna. It's going to use Intimidate right here. No, it doesn't have Intimidate. And... Uh, let's see... Nah, I'm not going to risk it. It's at level 35. It's not going to be doing anything. So let's go straight to Tommy JDF. And see what happens now. Okay, level 54. Here comes an assurance attack. And that doesn't do much. So let's go right ahead and finish it off with a double kick attack right here. And look at that. Say goodbye to my Diana. And Tommy JDF gets some points. And yes, Team Aqua Grant has been defeated. He is acknowledging the strength of me. Alrighty. Okay, so before we do anything, let's go right here. I believe you're going to be finding something. Anything. And yes, you will be finding yourself a Zinc. And, well, let's see. Let's go with this one. That one. Okay, so there's nothing right there. And if you go if you go towards the right side right here, I think you're going to be finding something else. And if you go here, you will be able to find yourself another Mega Stone, and that is a Bayonetite. That right there will be used for a Bayonet. So just remember that, guys. And there is a Pokemon nearby. And, well, let's see. Oh, there it is. This is interesting, guys, because I never, ever, ever get luck with this kind of Pokemon. So... Here we go. A Chimeko. Okay. Chimeko. Ghost type Pokemon. I am just I'm just gonna be using a dust ball because, well. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. It probably because it's a ghost type Pokemon and that right there is just like, you know. I guess it, it fits the theme. And just like that, we capture ourselves a Chimeko. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Never really used the Chimeko. And Claymore grows to level 23. And let's see what the Pokedex entry has to say for this Pokemon. So here it is, Chimeko. The Psychic-type Pokemon. You would think it was a Ghost-type Pokemon, but it is a Psychic-type Pokemon. And from what it says right here, In high winds, Chimeko cries as it hangs from a tree branch or it eaves of a building using a suction cup on its head. This Pokemon plucks berries from its long tail and eats them. Huh. And, well, we're not going to be doing anything with this Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Let's grab some items. If there is an, an item right here or there. And there's nothing except for a Pokemon. Hmm. And, yes. Shuppet, must you still scare me? Attack me and everything? Oh, my God. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. And let's go ahead and move on towards this section. I could I could find something. And there's another Chimeko hollering at us. And there's nothing right there. Huh. Okay, so I guess the most important part is we just got, I think. Yes. Okay, so that is that. Now we got to go up here and battle another trainer. And, well... Let's see what happens with team with this team Aqua Grunt. And he has two Pokemon, so we're going to be going up against Mighty Enna. And again, we're still trying to get our Pokemon up to the proper levels. And, well, I'm not going to risk that. So let's go straight to Thunderball and finish off everything. Alrighty. Okay, let's switch it up. Thunderball, how are you doing? And, well, here comes a scary face attack. Yeah, trying to... <laughs> it's trying to lower my speed since it is the fastest Pokemon and it doesn't work because well we're still the fastest Pokemon and I can see why so there goes my Diana and well more points for us Thunderball grows another level and talks to Batman grows to level 25 which is great and here comes Golbat so let's go ahead and go straight to Claymore just so it can actually grow a little bit more Still excited. I'm very, very excited to actually get it to, well, try to evolve it and all that crud. So, here we are, Claymore, taking on Toxic Batman. And, well, let's go ahead and risk it. I want to risk something right here. So, let's go with a Rock Tomb attack. Here comes Swift. 
Not so effective since my Claymore is a very, very hard Pokemon to take down. That right there will be a super effective and lower Golbat speed. So we got a chance. It's just we got to be careful. Here comes an Air Cutter attack. Not effective. But here comes another, another Rock Tomb attack. And that is going to take it down a notch. Hopefully that right there will give us... Uh, nope, it's still faster than us. So here comes another Swift attack. Claymore taking the brunt of it. So here we go. Rock Tomb nearly defeats this Pokemon. Good gravy. Okay, let's go ahead and use Iron Head. And it's not going to be a... F oh, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Claymore is a big boy now. And just like that, guys, we have defeated another Team Aqua Grunt. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we're going to grab this. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this. No, we're not going to do that. And once we get to this top right here, you're going to see Archie hassling the old people. And there are two orbs, the Magma Orb and the Aqua Orb. And he's going to take the Blue Orb, uh, of course. And he's like, yo, I thought something was a bit noisy, and who is it to, uh, but the usual scamp? Sorry, scampo, but I'm afraid I don't have time to play with you right now. The blue orb that's long been enshrined here at Mount uh, Pyre, it belongs to, to, to Team Aqua now. Matt. Oh, boss. How about you do me a favor for our lively little visitor and keep it in, keep him entertained? You better use your full strength too, so so you don't offend our, our honored guests. <laughs> With this blue orb in my hands, I won't even need the power of the meteorite to awaken the beast from the deep. All I need now is a way to get to the place where it, it sleeps. All I have to do is get a submarine they're making over at Slayport. Come on, boys, for, we're we're for Slayport. Okay, so thank you for letting us know your plans. And, well, Buff Bagwell himself wants to challenge us. He's like, all right, then, until the boss makes his getaway, I'll be your opponent. <laughs> okay. All righty, so here we go. Taking on Buff Bagwell himself, Matt. Team Aqua, Team Aqua admin Matt. And, well, he is going to be coming out with a Sharpedo. That Pokemon is terrifying. Yes, it is terrifying. So we're going to be going straight to Thunderball right here. And, uh, well, off screen, guys. Yes, I will be capturing a Carvana, evolving it. And, you know, I'm going to have all the team members here. And here comes an Ice Fang. That doesn't do much. So now it's time to feel the wrath of Thunderball with its, th well, discharge attack right here. And that takes away Sharpedo. Yes. Look at that. We're getting some more points. And Toxic Batman grows to level 26 without even getting hurt. Leviathan grows to level 32. And Claymore grows to level 24. And just like that, guys, bam, we have won. And no evolution yet. <laughs> that was fun. I knew you showed me a good time. I look forward to facing you again someday. Wow, these guys are weird. They're very weird. Okay, so because the blue orb has been separated by the red orb... The old lady right here is gonna be like, "Hey, me, I, me, what disaster? The blue orb stolen. Uh, the blue orb stolen from our safekeeping. The blue orb and the red orb must never be separated. They belong together." Hmm. I entrust you the remaining red orb to you, young one. Oh wow. Okay. So look at this. We are feeling the power. Oh wow. Okay. So we felt the power. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves the red orb. And I beg you, chase after those thieves and take back their orb. That wretched leader of theirs. I'm sure he said that they were, they were headed to Slayport City next. Okay. So that right there could be that. But there is uh, quite a... F well, there's just one more thing that we need to do. It's nothing too big, guys. There might be an item here and there. And you know what? We're going to be putting on a Repel because I am sick and tired of getting attacked by Pokemon right here. So, let's see. Let's find this orb. Find something. There, there, there is an item here somewhere, guys. And, yes, we're going to get attacked. This sucks. Oh, And would you look at that? We found ourselves a Vulpix. And if I remember correctly, 
We did have a Vulpix in some older generations and called it Zoro, so let's go ahead and capture this guy. Here comes a faint attack. And yes, as we progress, I am going to keep on updating my my PC. I'm going to keep on, you know, organizing the whole thing with all the Pokemon that we have. And well, here it is, Will-O-Wisp, a move that's going to just mess us up like that. And there's no need for any of this. So let's go right ahead and capture this Pokemon. Let's see. Let's go with a Luxury Ball because, you know, Vulpix, they're awesome. So here it goes, Pokeball. And bam. Two. And come on, stay in the ball. Throwing out that peace sign. All righty. So there you go, guys. We got ourselves a Vulpix. And well, let's go ahead and enter that. Let's go ahead and enter that 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 data. So here it is. Vulpix the Fox Pokemon. Inside Vulpix's body burns a flame that never goes out. During the daytime, when the temperatures rise, this Pokemon releases flames from its mouth and prevents its body from growing uh, hot too. Huh. So, let's go ahead and give it a nickname. I bequeath to you the name Zoro. Not Zordo, Zoro. Alrighty. Okay, so we're doing, we're doing just fine by capturing Pokemon. Eventually, you know, we're going to have a nice collection. And, well... Let's see, there is a, uh, let's see, there, we, we just got here, and there could be something right here, but no. And there is a rare Pokemon right in front of us. Tempting. And it is at level 40, yeah, it's not going to be that. Alright, so let's go towards the right side and see what else we can actually find. It might be nothing. Maybe just a Pokemon. And here we found ourselves a rare candy. A much needed rare candy. I have... I believe that's four of them already. And, well, again, Shuppet wants to cap or wants to take on us. Yeah, I'm not going to take on Shuppet because uh, it scares me. It does. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon because this is getting ridiculous, getting, getting attacked by Pokemon here and there. So... Let's go right here, and there might be an item. Yes, we found ourselves a dire hit, which it will actually help us out right here. Anywho, guys, let's get the heck out of here. This has been a long, and I mean long episode. Who never said that I, or who never said that I never do uh, any kind of long episodes, guys? So, anywho, in the next episode, we are not going to be going to Slateport City, but instead, we're going to be going uh, to Route 122 and below, I believe. There is another item, another two items that we're going to be grabbing over there. And we're going to be making uh, quite a few uh, visits, or we're going to be making quite a few flights down there. So, cannot wait for that episode. And uh, what else What else do we have to do? Oh, yeah, and then eventually, you know, you know, Team Aqua and all that crud. That's going to be a fun one. Cannot wait. I cannot wait. So, let's get the heck out of here. Not get attacked by Pokemon. And right here. Let's go right... Yeah, let's get the heck out of here, because this is getting ridiculous. It's always scary. Yeah, I kind of want to... I kind of I kinda want to know what it's like in real life. It's probably like in re like the ghost hunters in real life, and it gets all scary and whatnot. And I'm trying to figure out how to get the heck out of here. Oh, man, I forgot that there was like three flights of stairs, I think. And, well, that right there is that, I think. Or... Yeah, the exit is right here. Thank you, Jeebus. Okay, so we're going to pause it right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going to, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Places. We're going to be going down to Route 122, 123, all the way back down to Route 118. So, again, cannot wait, guys. Thank you guys for being so supportive. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.